I was trying to make a connection between the life I saw and the life I lived. Beale Street was such of a beautiful depiction mm -hmm. of love and blackness. Mm -hmm. It was uh, really interesting that you chose not to end mm -hmm. the movie as Baldwin ended the book. And mm -hmm. also, the police officer had shot a 12-year-old boy that mm -hmm. wasn't depicted as well, and that seemed mm -hmm. to be very, very intentional to have this sort of optimism. It, it was two different things. One, I feel like the optimism in the ending, yes, for sure. I think that um, in the book, um, there's, a, there's a suicide that happens um, that we don't confirm or deny, um, but more importantly for me, I think one of the theses of both the book and the film is this idea of black love, black family being these things that can protect us, sustain us, can help us weather these storms. And I felt like Tish and Fani were not broken by this experience, and so we extended the ending of the book, I don't say alter, but extended the ending of the book to confirm that this black love, black family had helped them weather the storm. Uh, there were certain things about Officer Bell in the book that made him just such a horrific a human being, that it was very easy to say, that guy is the bad guy. And to me, it was too too easy, too obvious, too simple. And so those things we sort of just shaved away. Going back to the days of Moonlight, mm -hmm. you were at a party and uh, waiting at a, at a valet and mm -hmm. heard that your driver called I you did. the N-word mm -hmm. and sort of begrudgingly said that you would likely win an Oscar. Can, mm -hmm. can you speak to that experience? Can you tell us? Yeah, it was wild, man. It was uh, one of those things that I just n just didn't expect to happen, you know? I was just coasting through award season kind of willy-nilly. Um, and I think when you're going through award season, especially at that point, you know, now I'm at the upper echelon of the upper echelon. I'm up here where they can't touch me in a certain way. But then it's so very simple to bring someone uh, down to your level in a certain way. And so I learned not a very tough love lesson, but a very sobering lesson. You know, the distance between myself and this character, uh, Fani, is not very far. And I think what I learned that night was, yeah, there are people just all over who um, don't want to see us prosper, I should say. James Baldwin has, has famously said mm -hmm. that, you know, to be, and I'm loosely quoting here, but to be black and to be conscious is to be it's in a, a state of con and, and constantly and, in a state of and, rage. And would you agree with that? To go back to my experience during award season, um, I do think so. You know, I think had I been fully conscious, fully aware, you know, it wouldn't have surprised me so much to have a driver refer to me, you know, uh, as the N-word. But I also don't want to walk around constantly in a state of rage. Um, and I certainly didn't want to make this piece of material from a state of rage. I think had I uh, made it completely from a state of rage, it would have, uh, in maybe some ways, teetered into this miserableist um, kind of bent. And to me, it was much more about affirming the lives of these black characters. And so, you know, it's something I'm always navigating. Um, and I think that's me as a person, not me, uh, or not the piece of work.